What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. And today we're gonna to be covering a subject about the wildlife, the insects, the bugs, things that I see while living here in Las Vegas. All right, so like I said, this video is going to be going over the insects, wildlife, bugs, all of the critters that you would see here living in Las Vegas. And this is a question that I've actually been asked a ton. I wasn't really expecting a ton of questions about this, although it is a valid concern, especially if you're coming from somewhere like the East Coast where you're not used to maybe seeing some of these animals. So I'm gonna jump right into this video and basically just tell you my experience that I've had while living here. Now, I can't speak for the entire Las Vegas area. I'm sure some areas get more of certain wildlife than others, but I live here in Henderson in the Green Valley area, so I will just describe my experience. And living here, I can be honest with you, I haven't really seen too much wildlife. The only thing that I've really seen is over the last week, obviously we had all of the grasshoppers that have come into town, but even then it wasn't really that bad here in Henderson. They were definitely around, there was quite a few of them, but nothing like the videos that you saw on the strip and of them you know, just floating everywhere and all that craziness. It wasn't like that here in Henderson at all. But like I said, there was quite a few of them. It seems like now they've pretty much gone. We had a couple of days of rain. And after that, I just didn't really see many of them. So it might've just wiped them out. And then not only that, but just all of the extreme heat that we have here, I just don't see how they could survive long-term. But besides the grasshoppers, the second most common animal that I see is actually rabbits. So these are harmless. They're just jackrabbits. They just hop around. They're not out to hurt you. They're just very, they, they hunt, you know, they look for smaller animals to prey on. And most of the time you're gonna find them around the water. I walk around Cornerstone Park a lot. So over there, you're gonna see a lot of jackrabbits. So if you're into rabbits, that's somewhere that you will see them. Now, with that being said, I've gone on a lot of hikes through many areas, including Arizona Hot Springs, Mount Charleston, plenty of other areas right around here, Whitney Mesa and there's a lot of signs that say warning rattlesnakes, snakes may be present in this area. And I personally have not come across any snakes, even out at Lake Mead, nothing that I've seen. The only time that I did actually see a snake in person was when I lived in California at the Culver City Stairs. And the other time when I went to Oatman, Arizona with my mom, I did a video on that. If you guys wanna check that out, it's a cool little town in Arizona. I'll put a card to it on one of these sides, but it was just a little baby snake, maybe this big, and it had some orange on it. So I don't know if it was poisonous or what, um, but I almost stepped on it and luckily I saw it in time because of the color. But besides that here in Las Vegas, I've not seen any snakes. There is reports of coyotes and I haven't seen any coyotes here either. The only time I've actually seen a coyote was when I lived in California out in Malibu over by the ocean. There was a coyote over there one day and that's it. So coyotes I hear are very common in the Southern Highlands area just because it's a little more deserted. And with that being said, the thing that I want you to take out of this video is if you're living somewhere that has a lot of people, there's a lot of buildings, there's um, you know civilization going on, the chances of you actually seeing these type of animals, such as scorpions, snakes, um, is very rare. You know, these are not like, I think some people think that when you live in the desert, you know, it's very common to just walk outside your back door and there's, you know, a snake and a scorpion chilling. I've heard of people having some scorpion issues, maybe in like this, the Northwest area. And the main reason for that is again, anytime you're away from, you know, a lot of civilization, a lot of buildings, that's where you're more likely to see these type of animals because there's not people everywhere that have, you know, kind of taken over the area and drove that population out. So if you're gonna live somewhere like Boulder City, you're gonna live in a rural area of Henderson, you're gonna live in the Northwest, then you probably will come across some of these time to time. But if you're living in Green Valley, you're living in um, Spring Valley, you're living in downtown, you're living by the Strip, anywhere where there's a lot of people, you're probably not going to come across a lot of these. One thing you may come across like everywhere is you may have roaches once in a while. I have had, let's see, I've lived here in this apartment for about a year and a month. And it was only during like the cold months that I did have two that came in, but besides that they sprayed and I haven't had any since. So it's not like they're very rampant, very um, populous around here anyway. So I think these are like normal things that you would see. I haven't seen anything really out of the ordinary. If you go out to Lake Mead or you go to Valley of Fire, Again, these are like isolated, you know, desert areas. So that's where you might have higher chance of seeing these things. I've seen bighorn sheeps out there, which was pretty cool. Um, but besides that, nothing too crazy out there either. But I know people do see them out in these isolated areas. So that about covers this video, guys. This was a really short one. I think 
The main thing that I want you to take away from this video is if you're living near people, you're probably not gonna see any of these. If you're living in a more deserted area away from people, you probably will come across some of these. But that's it for this video, guys. If you have any recommendations about other questions you have, topics, etc., leave them down in the comments down below, and maybe I'll make a video on it. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.